Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, Tina and I are going to be making our strawberry and rhubarb preserves. Now, Tina and I can't grow red rhubarb here, so if you hang on till after the break, we'll tell you how we did it. Right, guys first thing I want to do is kind of apologize to you guys for Tina and I disappearing like that we uh, been gone a couple of days but uh, I've been a little under the weather the past few days and then back and forth to the VA a couple of times but uh, they've changed up a few of my medications and uh, everything's looking good but uh, we got plenty to do here so we're gonna get right back on track but I wanted to say thank you for sticking around now let's talk a little bit about that rhubarb we uh we can't grow a red rhubarb here. Um, the winters here do not get cold enough to send the rhizome into the kind of dormancy that it needs to grow in the spring. So we've had to find another option, which is to grow a green form of rhubarb. Now we've showed that a couple times in our past videos, but the stalks are green. They do get some flecks of red, but um, they're almost as tart as red rhubarb. You do have to add a little bit of lemon juice to them, but they cook down just the same. They take on the color of things like strawberries and stuff, so you can use them in a strawberry rhubarb preserve or in a pie filling. But we're going to get in here, we're going to take a look at this footage. Now we're just going to put them up as preserves and we can do anything we want with them later. We can turn them into pie filling or we can thicken them up into a topping. But for right now we're going we're gonna to can them up as preserves. So let's get inside, we'll see how we do that. Alright guys, we're going to get in here on this uh, rhubarb strawberry jam and one of the first things I want to tell you is yes the rhubarb is green we have a hard time growing the red rhubarb here in this part of Tennessee but we can grow the green kind and uh, it's easy to work with and if you're mixing it with something like strawberries you won't be able to tell any of the color difference when it's all said and done we'll show you that here in a little bit but the green type is not as tart as the red so we're going to cook it up with a little bit of lemon juice and then we're going to make it as a preserve. We're not going to make it as a jam. So we'll be using we'll be using some sugar, but not as much as you would for jam. And uh, we'll bring you back. We'll show you how we do this. But first, we got to process our stuff and see how much of it we have. All right, guys, what Tina is working on now is we're going to cut this into about three quarters to one inch long pieces. A lot of people are used to the strings in rhubarb, but uh, this will still have the strings. The green rhubarb acts just like the red, but you want a little bit of length to them, but you don't want them so long that they're annoying. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish chopping up this pile of rhubarb here, and we'll put it in the cup there. We'll see how much of it we have, and then we'll move it over there to the big jam pan. So we'll keep cutting on this, and uh, we'll bring you back for the next step. All right, guys, we've got all our uh, rhubarb chopped up. We're over here at the stove. What Tina's going to be adding here is a half a cup of lemon juice and a half a cup of water. And what we're going to do is we're going to, over a medium heat, we're going to bring that up to a, bring that up to a simmer. And then we're going to cover it and we're just going to let it simmer there for about 20 minutes. But while we're doing that, we'll get over here and we'll finish up doing some other stuff here. I'll show you in just a second. All right, guys, while that rhubarb is cooking down, we're going to go ahead and uh, just big chunk these strawberries, about a quarter of them, maybe a sixth. But we're just going to cut them into big chunks. And uh, we got about seven cups of rhubarb. And we got about probably nine cups of strawberries here. So we're going to call that 16. And to make a reserve, we're going to use about half the amount of sugar that we have of fruit. So we got 16 cups of fruit. We're going to use eight cups of sugar. That's going to be the recipe. But uh, we'll go ahead and let this rhubarb finish on cooking down, and then we're going to add the strawberries to it. All right, guys, we've had this green rhubarb cooking down in the lemon juice and water, and it still has its original, the strands, but the, you can see the chunks have started to break down now. So we've had it going for about 20 minutes, and it's time to add the strawberries. 
but we're gonna go ahead and dump all the strawberries in there and uh, we'll get that all mixed up and we're gonna bring that up to a good boil and then we're gonna add our sugar but it's gonna look kind of weird now like we're stirring strawberries into pea soup but it'll all work out just fine I promise <laughs> All right, guys, I wanted to bring you back in here real quick, just in case any of you were afraid we were going to end up with pea soup with red chunks in it. It's boiled down, and it's taking on that rhubarb kind of brownish-reddish color, but we still got plenty of chunks of uh, strawberry floating around in there. So we're going to get this up to a good rolling boil, and then we're going to add our sugar. So I'll bring you back when we get to that point, but it's looking good so far. All right, guys, we took it up to a boil. We backed it down just a little bit so it wouldn't be popping so bad when we poured the sugar. But we're gonna go ahead and add the sugar to it now. That'll, uh, that'll cool it down quite a bit right off the bat. We'll add all the sugar at once, and then we'll uh, get this stirred up. We'll bring it back to a rolling boil, and we'll be ready to start canning. But uh, get this mixed up and get you a good look at it, and you can see the color a little better against that white sugar. But uh, we'll get this back up to a rolling boil, and uh, like I said, these are just preserved, so it's not as much sugar as jam, but we'll get it up to a boil, and we should be able to can it. All right, guys, I'm going to get in here and show you this, uh, show you this strawberry rhubarb preserved, but uh, let's see that color in there, that deep red color. But that's what you can expect. Tina's getting ready. We've had it up on a boil for about five minutes, so we're going to get it in the jars and uh, we'll move it over here we got the water bath canner pre-warming so we'll get it jarred up we'll get it moved over here to the water bath and then we'll bring you back all right guys looks like we're gonna have five and a half pints so we're gonna bring this up to a boil we're gonna hold it there for 15 minutes then we'll take the lid off of it for five minutes then we'll get them out and we'll show you what they look like all right, guys, we had them in the canner for 15 minutes. We've had the lid off for five minutes. Dina's just getting them set out now. We give you a look at them. That's some really pretty color on them. We'll get down here and see what kind of look we can get on them. But that's going to about do it. That's our strawberry and rhubarb preserves or a conserve or topping, however you want to call it. But we didn't get a real high yield. So like I said in the beginning, we'll just save it as a kind of a treat but that's gonna about wrap it up as you can see the not a lot of green left in it just a real pretty looks just like regular old rhubarb and strawberries so I'll be back in a minute to talk to you but that's what we got alright guys that's about gonna wrap it up for today's video we hope that you enjoyed it those are our strawberry and rhubarb preserves they are really good over a short cake and uh, you can top them with a whip topping or a little bit of ice cream vanilla ice cream and uh, man it's really really good or you can uh, you can make it into a crumble if you've got enough of it you um I think some people call it a cobbler that's what the word i was looking for but uh, we really enjoy having it here on the homestead we didn't get that big of a yield this year so we'll uh, we'll treat it like candy and we'll just save it for a special occasion but i've got some other canning videos we're going to flash those up in the corner while i'm talking if you guys want to check those out but uh, before you take off, if you would, please hit that thumbs up button and uh, leave us a comment down below. Tell us what you thought of it. Tell us if, if you make something similar or if you have any experience with the green rhubarb. But uh, we'd, we'd like to hear about it. And if you like the content here on the channel, we hope you'll hit the subscribe button. Down by the subscribe button is a bell. If you'll hit that bell, that'll send you notifications whenever we release a new video, which is a great way to keep up with the channel. So we hope you guys will, uh, we hope you enjoyed the video. We hope you'll give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Check out these videos up here in the corner. We'll catch you in the next one.